Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to talk about some of the new updates that Figma has introduced yesterday, 25th May 2023, uh, and they are regarding state management. So we previously had a functionality like this where if you scroll down, you go to a separate screen, you come back, it's going to preserve your scroll location. That still exists, obviously, but that has been updated to do pretty much the same thing. But I want to teach you how to actually achieve the same effect. So if you go to the prototype mode or the interaction for that particular button, so this home button is actually taking me to this home screen. This cards button is actually taking me to this section but that doesn't really matter. You don't have to worry about sections. I've covered sections extensively in my course as well. So if you actually wanted to go ahead and use the updated system, you can click on update. So now if you actually have a look at it, ideally if you think that nothing has changed, but it has changed. Now if I let's say go to the cards and come back, as you can see, my scroll position is not being preserved. I haven't reset the scroll position, then why is it not being preserved? That's strange, right? Well, the reason for that is if I'm scrolled down, I come back, as you can see, it's not working. It's because we also need to actually update the scroll or the state management system here as well. Then you don't need to check any boxes or anything because by default, the scroll position is maintained. So now if I go down, I go to the card screen and then I come back. The scroll position, as you can see, is now being preserved and it's not coming from the top. So that's really important. Another thing that I would like to mention is our state preserved components. So usually what happened was is components did not preserve their state across screens. Now, actually, when I'm looking at some of the other videos from other popular content creators, I saw one from Misco as well. Um, and he talked about like how you can actually create a component and you can have multiple uh, interactive components inside of it. Well, that's what Figma actually did as well. But I think this particular state, pres state preserved component across screens is actually the most powerful thing that Figma has introduced but a lot of people aren't talking about it. So what, what's happening here basically? So I have one screen. I have the screen card two here. I have the card three here. If a person clicks on this more option screen, he lands on this screen. These are the details, like these are more details about the card. And if a person clicks on the less options, he goes back. So I can just show it to you. If they click on more options, this is a separate screen. This is not the same screen. If we wanted, we could have made the same screen using interactive components, all of, all of that stuff but I want to talk about state preserved components across screens because that's where I feel like the power exists of these components. So now what happens is even though these two are separate screens, I have the same toggle here. I have the primary toggle here and I have the primary toggle here and you just need to label the primary toggle the same way. So if this is called toggle, I'm gonna to just change that to, well, actually if I don't change it, what happens? Uh, actually, let me see if everything's okay. So here, that's okay too. So this may just work because it's positioned exactly in the same position, but let's say if this was named something else. Previously, this is what used to happen. If we go and used to enable this and we clicked on more options, obviously, since this is a completely separate screen, it would not be preserved. I'm gonna click on less options. This is going to be preserved. So components or interactive components maintaining their state position on the screen that they were on was something that previously existed as well. But now you can actually maintain or preserve these states across these screens as well. So if I go and enable this, I've basically again renamed this toggle to be a toggle and this is also a toggle. So now if I let's say go to more options, as you can see this primary toggle that was in this other screen is now being connected to this toggle that's on this screen. Similarly, I can go ahead and uncheck it. And now if I go to the previous screen, it's going to be off on this particular screen as well. So we basically have interactive components connected across screens and you can have 10 different screens, it doesn't matter. So imagine if I have a separate screen here and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna delete everything. So I'm just gonna delete these all buttons here. Actually, yeah, I'm just gonna delete them. I'm gonna maybe just have go back to one screen or the first screen. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this as well. And I'm gonna say this is going to be go forward instead of go back. Well, actually, I can create a separate button for this. So I can just create a separate button. I can say next screen. So now that I've done that, I'm just doing this to show you the power of these components. You hopefully get the idea now, but in case you didn't, because I am seeing not a lot of content creators talk about this. So it's checked here. If I go to the next screen, it's also checked on the next screen. If I go and disable it here, it's going to be disabled on the first screen and it's going to be disabled on the second screen. So basically this is the power of these components. Can you imagine it? 
Additionally, I just want to point out one disclaimer is that sometimes if you actually mess with the naming, let's say I'm going to mess with the naming of the top thing, like I'm going to mess with the naming, naming of the row. So let's just go ahead and mess that up. So I'm going to now go here to the next screen. As you can see, now it's not working. Sometimes you may think that it's working. Other times it may just not work. So that's right. Now, before we go forward, I would like to let you know that I've recently introduced my premium Figma Noob to Pro course that's going to help you take your design skills to the next level. It has topics covering from the basics to advanced topics like auto layout, prototyping, components, you name it. So if you really want to take your design skills and not only just design skill, but your earning skills and earning potential to the next level as well, definitely go check out the course link in the description. Additionally, I have a voucher code for you guys as well, especially my subscribers and viewers. If you use the AM subscriber voucher, you're going to get a 50% off on that as well. Okay, so now that we're done with that, I also want to talk about videos. So as you can see, we have a video here that's auto playing. So we have a car coming in or car going out. Let's say if we edit the screen and then we come back from this screen to the previous one, it's basically going to preserve its location and it's going to play from wherever it was. If, however, we didn't want it to do that and we wanted to say that I want you to reset the video state, we can just basically check that. And now if we click on edit settings and then save, it's going to reset. So as you can see, the car is right below. If we save, it's going to reset and the video is going to continue from the top. So there, these are some of the things that were really important. One other minor thing that I would just like to point out is if you actually go on this card screen, I'm going to click this plus button here. We have a loading screen. Let's say I just added it to show you this particular functionality. So you have a loading screen, then it, a done button appears and then you can go to the card screen. Okay, that's fine. But if I actually wanted to do the plus thing again now as you can see this loading is already completely loaded but we don't want to do that we don't want this interactive component to preserve its state so how do we actually reset it well you can go on the button that's actually triggering this the screen and then you can say reset component state if you do that and you click the plus button now as you can see this is working fine it's coming at the end and then we can click on done and then we can go to the home page, we can click on the plus button again, and it's going to be resetted. So these are some really awesome updates, which I actually created for my paid course, because I need that paid course to stay up to date for some of my awesome subscribers and the people who are already taking that course. But I thought, why not I just go ahead and actually have this video uploaded for you guys on Figma as well.